And listen to the story about a man named Jed. The poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is, black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck and they moved to Beverly Hills, that is, swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbilly. smell him. Any word from Cousin Roy yet? He called from the edge of town. Ellie gave him the directions how to get here. Well, from the edge of town, he could just follow his nose. If heaven smelled like that, wouldn't be no sinners. <laughs> here is the soup prize for Cousin Roy. See if you can guess what that is. That is either uh, rain crow, barn owl, or yellow hammer. <laughs> Close. But him? Right. That's a coot. Cobbler. Good cobbler? Ready, you are really putting a big pot in a little one today. Well, poor Roy probably hasn't had a decent meal since I left the hills. Oh, Granny, Roy's ma is one of the best cooks in Cud County. Myrtle Halsey, her cooking would gag a buzzard. I just think so. Then why did Roy always come over to our place to eat? He coming over to our place because he had eyes for really me. He had eyes for my vittle. Granny, remember how he used to sit on the back porch and play his guitar and make up songs about Ellie? He done that to keep from going home to an empty table. All right, Granny, have it your way. Myrtle Halsey never cooked a decent meal in her life. She was always out peddling that bad moonshine that she made. Are you talking about her tonic? Mother Myrtle's magic mixture? Magic mixture. Possum Ridge poison is what it was. She ought to have been arrested. Well, now, you peddle plenty of your tonic. Dr. Daisy's Chickasaw Blood Builder. That was legitimate medicine. The only known protection against Siberian scurvy. Granny, we never had no Siberian scurvy. You bet we didn't. I pioneered in preventive medicine. Now, just because you and Myrtle used to lock horns, I hope you ain't gonna take it out on her boy. I'm treating him like a king. I'm cooking him everything but the fatted calf. Speaking of the fatted calf, uh, where is Jethro? <laughs> Middles like these are cooking. I'm surprised he ain't here with both feet in the trough. Damn sakes. I plumb forgot about Jethro. Come on, everybody. Cousin Roy just turned in a driveway. When is that girl going to learn to wear a dress? <laughs> Ain't you got a nice pretty dress for Cousin Roy? Yep, but I don't know if it'll fit him. I want you to wear it. Now run along and put it on. Oh, yes, sir. Good thing that girl is so pretty. Yeah, she takes after me. Hey, Roy, come on. I almost hate to see him, Jed. Why? Six years of nothing but Myrtle's cooking. He'll be a walking skeleton. This is bigger than the Cud County Courthouse. Little Roy! Howdy, Grandma. Oh. Good to see you, Roy. Welcome to Beverly Hills. Thank you, Mr. Clampett. Let's have a look at you, Roy. You're exactly a skeleton, Granny. Been eating out, have you? No, ma'am. Just Big Mama's cooking. Oh, that's baby fat Jenny still living on it. <laughs> now, don't you worry, little Roy. My vittles will flesh out. Come on in. I got a surprise cooking for you on the stove right now. Well, thank you, Granny, but I just finished the last of the vittles that Mama packed from a trip. Cold coot cobbler. Did you say coot cobbler? Yes, ma'am. Ain't nobody makes it like Big Mama. Do they still call her man Crazy Myrtle? Granny, uh, let's set Roy told his things in. Sure is a dandy car, Roy. Somebody put a wanted poster on this side. Looks like Bonnie Parker. Or is it Clyde? Granny. Well, bless my soul if it ain't my 
driving dear old friend Murdo. Yes, Mama let me drive her delivery car. She's gone out of business, has she? Oh, no, ma'am. Business so good, she done sent me out here to open up a Hollywood branch. Do tell. Yes, sir. She's after the movie star trade. She figures she'll have them if we can just get an endorsement from somebody like Bull Montana. Bull the daddy. <laughs> I dropped my sample case. Forty bottles of Big Mama's magic mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some of them's busted, Roy. <laughs> Don't light a match. Nobody. I'll go get him up before he starts eating through the floor. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Clampett. I'll clean it up. No, no. Granny and me take care of that. Ellie, show Roy to his room. Oh, yes, sir, Pop. Tell me, Roy, do you still play the guitar? Yes, ma'am, Ellie. I'll pick it a little. Well, would you pick something for me? <laughs> I sure will. Ellie Mae, give Roy a chance to get settled in. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Clampett. I'd like to do one for Ellie. Here's one I used to do right after y'all left the hills. Goes like this, Ellie. There's a cabin in Cut County that we knew in days of yore where we whiled many happy hours away. A sitting and a singing by the little cabin door where dwelt my lovely Ellie Mae. Oh, my darling Ellie Mae, they have taken you away, and I'll never see my darling anymore. I am sitting by the river, and I'm weeping all the day, cause you're gone from the old log cabin door. Roy will never brag on his mamas again. Hey, Granny, them sure was fun vittles. Yes, ma'am, especially that coot cobbler. When did Mama give you her recipe? Mama. She's expecting you to call, Roy. Now, why don't you do that right now? Let her know you got here safe and sound. Ellie, show Roy that phone out in the front hall. Oh, yes, sir, Pa. Follow me, Roy. Granny, anything you want me to tell Mama? Yeah. You tell her if she brings her tonic out here. Well, Granny will help her sell it. Why? Roy's talking to his mama back home. She wants to say howdy to y'all. I've got something to say to her, but it ain't howdy. Howdy, Murphy. This here is Judge Clampett. Hello, Jed. You <laughs> handsome rascal. How are you? Just fine, Myrtle. How's yourself? Tolerable, Jed. Just tolerable. I'm getting old. The sands of time are running out on me. The pretty little apple cheek girl you used to know is just a wasted shell. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hear what, Jed? Just a minute, Myrtle. She's ailing, Granny. Big Mama, you was feeling fine just a minute ago. Shut up! Get off the phone, blabbermouth! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've really got the tissic. Tissic, my foot. That's a whiskey wheeze if I ever heard one. Come on now, say something now. Sober up, you old bat. <laughs> what was that, Chad? Oh, uh, Granny said take care of yourself. Uh. What can we do to help you, Myrtle? Oh, it's too late for me, Chad. But I do hope you'll help Roy to get my tonic business started out there. Has he talked to Bull Montana yet? <laughs> well, I ain't sure, Myrtle, but for business advice, you ought to talk to Mr. Drysdale. That's a banker who takes care of my money. Drysdale, you say? Oh. <laughs> Melbourne? Drysdale. <laughs> Commerce Bank. President? Well. Nice looking man, is he? I mean, good character and all? He's a fine man and right handsome. Thank you, Jed. You've given a dying widow no hope. Goodbye.
you want a double day with me tonight, Roy? Oh, yes, sir, Cousin Jethro. I figure I can learn a lot from a sheep like you. All right. That won't be long. You want me to come in with you? No, no, please. If that girl sees me with you, I'll never get a date. Oh, shucks. I ain't that good looking. You just wait right here, Roy. Hey, maybe I can sell a few bottles of Big Mama's tonic while I'm waiting. Right here on the street? In Beverly Hills? Are you... Hey, that's a great idea. Yeah, put on a medicine show. You set up your stand right here on the sidewalk. You play your banjo and draw a great big crowd. Do you reckon there's a chance that Bull Montana might come by? Bull Montana? Yeah, Mama wants an endorsement from a big movie star. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure he does. He comes by here so much, they call this here Bull Run. <laughs> Miss Jane. Jethro, what brings you here? Well, if it's all right with you, I'd like to take a dip in the secretarial pool and uh, see what I come up with. <laughs> Jethro, dear boy, you must not be blinded by mere physical pulchritude. That sort of beauty is only skin deep. Well, maybe so, but I like the way some of them skins is stuffed. <laughs> what are you looking at? There's a crowd down there. It's a sidewalk peddler. Uh, do they allow that in Beverly Hills? Oh, I should say not. He'll be arrested within minutes. Oh. Come on, folks. Right after this musical number, I'm going to pass amongst you with this here miracle from the mountains. Mother Myrtle's magic mixture. Before I start, is Bull Montana in the crowd? Not yet, huh? I'll dedicate this to him anyway, because he's Mama's favorite. <laughs> See that? Yes, sir. Men in uniform, half price for this wonderful tonic. Fills the body, lifts the spirit, soothes the soul. <laughs> you know something, folks? He's right. Back in Missouri, before I took my first bottle of Mother Myrtles, I was a 97 pound weekly. <laughs> All right, folks, step right up. Yes. Got the chief of police on the phone. What's the trouble? Some clown is peddling patent medicines in front of a bank, and I want to make a complaint. Well, I saw a policeman down there. Why don't you complain to him? I did. He made me buy six bottles. <laughs> Drysdale's office. One moment, please. There's a Mrs. Myrtle Halsey calling you long distance. I don't know any Myrtle Halsey. Mr. Clive had suggested that she call you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Halsey. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, the first thing you can do is call me Myrtle. <laughs> well, yeah, of course, if, if you call me Milburn. Okay, Milburn, here's the scoop. I'm moving my business operations to the West Coast, and my dear friend, Jeb Clampett, says you're just the man to help a rich young widder like me. <laughs> well, indeed I am. Now, why don't you come out and we'll have a business conference? Well, I don't know. Jeb says you're a handsome devil. Would you promise to keep it strictly business? Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll come out anyway. I'm just dying to see Granny again. She's such a dear, sweet little old lady. She's always been like a mother to me. <laughs> see, I have an idea. Now, why don't you fly out as my guest and we'll surprise Granny? Oh, that sounds like fun, see. Will we make the Hollywood scene, Melby? You bet we will, Mert. Now, you start packing now. All righty. Bye. <laughs> Oh, Myrtle and Milby, one lover. 
care for money, my reward will be hearing the screams of dying victims turn to happy laughter. <laughs> magic mixture? Have you had some? Just finished a whole bottle. Open your mouth quick and gulp this down. <laughs> oh, no, 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 thanks. Grab him, get up and down in his head. Call them that. They was pushing a bottle down a policeman's throat. She's even down there. Are you kidding? Those hopheads are dangerous. Let the police handle them. Oh, the rod squad done took them to jail. Oh, but the bank wants you to call right away. Well, I'll be late for the airport. Uh, Miss Hathaway. Now, you go meet the plane and bring Myrtle, that is, the widow Halsey, to the Clampets. So Granny and I can share the wonderful surprise of seeing her. Well, what about Margaret? Huh? Margaret who? Your wife? Oh, that's Margaret. <laughs> what about it? Well, surely you intend to tell Myrtle that you're married. Oh, sure, sure, after she goes home. She... Well, a, a rich widow deserves a few thrills. Besides, many a business deal has been made on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling real spry. Looking real spry, too. <laughs> Ellie, honey, why don't you fetch Roy in to meet Mr. Drysdale? Yes, sir, Pop. Hello, Jack. Milburn. What's all this about a riot and dope peddlers? Oh, two of them, eh? Great big goofy looking kid. Little old lady wearing a doctor's coat. That sounds a heap like Jethro and Granny. <laughs> I'm glad they're here. <laughs> they are here. <laughs> They went into town to peddle Granny's death-defying antidote. <laughs> Jack, get over to jail right away and bail them out. I don't care what it costs. 
Hurry! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Clavett. They'll be here in no time. Well, I ain't sure I want to be here. Granny's liable to be a mite peevish. <laughs> oh, not for long. I've got a surprise that's going to make everything all right. One of her dearest friends is coming to see her. Who's that? Myrtle Halsey. Myrtle Halsey? <laughs> yes, the woman who's always been like a daughter to Granny. <laughs> Now I know I don't want to be here. Wait till I get my hands on that Drysdale. I'll learn him to get me arrested. Who's that with Miss Jane? Darn if I know. Miss Jane's back. With my widow. Hurry, <laughs> Granny! It's Mad Dog Murder. Oh, it's just my feet, sonny. First the nearest lap in. Regal, Granny. To fix my shotgun, I'm going to perform a mercy killing. Oh, wait a minute, Time to say goodbye to Jed and all his kin. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to this locality to have a heaping helping of their hospitality. Hillbilly, that is. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. Y'all come back now, here. This has been a Filmways presentation. Bye.